This application is a demonstration of the Dow Educated Flush Pin Gauge System of Parts Checking. Um, in this instance, we show a typical screw machine part uh, of a uh, hydraulic fitting. And in this case, the customer wishes to check several dimensions in, this, in the same part uh, on, on gauges on the same line. In this case, they're checking from the shoulder of the part to the end face. They want a gauge also to check the 40 degree included angle of taper in the cone angle. The, uh, another check is from a gauge diameter, a basic diameter in the cone angle to the end face. And the fourth dimension is, a, is, is taken from the basic diameter to the bottom uh, of the uh, part in this, at, at this position. To check this part, we are going to use the Dow Educated Flush Pin Gauge System, which features the FP100 Flush Pin Adapter and several special educated flush pin gauges that have been designed to check those features uh, shown on the drawing. To begin, you screw the flush pin adapter into the Dow gauge base. Lock it tight with a wrench. And the gauge is set to zero when the top of this pin is flush with this seating surface. Set the gauge surface. to zero. You slide an educated flush pin gauge body halfway in to, to the spring clip on the flush pin adapter. And at that point, you adjust the indicator post until you come to your zero setting just past it and lock the setting at zero. When the flush pin, special educated flush pin is snapped fully into the flush pin adapter, the gauge returns to its at rest position. The next step is to adjust the adjusting nut so again you don't have more than one revolution on the dial indicator. To do this, the stop is screwed down into the base. until you have just one revolution of the dial indicator. Now the gauge is ready to go to work. The first check is the check that is given from the gauge diameter in the part to the face of the part. The part is placed on the gauge and the indicator is read and the part is within the allowable tolerance of plus or minus two thousands. The second check is a check of the angle of taper. The angle of taper in this part is 40 degrees plus or minus 30 minutes. The tolerance of plus or minus 30 minutes calculates out to a tolerance of plus or minus one and one ten thousandth of an inch. So as long as the part is within one thousandth and one tenth plus or minus, it is a good part. It is within the 30 minutes, plus or minus. The part is pressed onto the top of the gauge and depressed. And in this case, you can see the part is well within the allowable tolerance. It's showing, in, in this case, uh, plus or minus four tenths. Again, the tolerance allowed is plus or minus one thousandth and one tenth. So these parts can be checked for angle of taper as rapidly as the user can place the part on the gauge and depress. Without any other adjusting for zero, the next educated flush pin gauge can be snapped into place. Each time the gauge is pushed halfway into place, the zero is checked on the gauge because the gauge is always set to zero when the top of the pin in the flush pin adapter is flush with the seating surface. So this gauge is a self-mastering gauge. Each time one of these elements is slipped into the position, the gauge is checked for its zero setting. 
the part here is we're, we're checking from the gauge diameter in the cone angle of the part down to the bottom surface. And in this case, the part drops on. This diameter is the gauge diameter. And the part is placed on the gauge and the reading is taken. The fourth check of this same part is for the shoulder length. The part is dropped onto the gauge, depressed, and the shoulder length is checked. And in this case, the shoulder length is the allowable length is plus or minus 4,000. This demonstrates how rapidly you can change over from part to part or for various dimensions in the, the advantage same part. of this flush pin system of, of measurement is that the flush pin gauge is ground to length and requires no master. It's ground in the manner of traditional flush, flush pin gauges in that the pin and the body are ground flush when the check dimension is, is held. And the tolerances involved in the, in, the, in the grinding here are within a matter of tenths. So in most instances, setting masters are no longer required when using educated flush pin gauges. The gauge is set to zero, as we said, when the top of this pin in the flush pin adapter is flush with the seating surface. And as the gauge is put into the, gauge, into, into the dowel gauge, the, the zero is checked each time the flush pin gauge is, is inserted. So the beauty of this, again, is no setting masters are required in most instances. And you have rapid changeover from part to part uh, with minimal or no setup.